I had fantasized about this fateful night when he would descend into the earth and I would be right beside her, comforting her, grieving with her, holding her against my chest. I nurtured the thought that murder would solve everything. With nimble fingers, I quietly picked the lock, expecting that it would take long. Instead, I discovered that by moving the tiny screwdriver more, the job was done faster. It was as if this was meant to happen. Their happy moments captured in numerous images were like straight shots of caffeine to my full body of adrenaline. My being was no longer attached. I could feel myself transforming, my decisions, my jealousy, whatever was driving me on, fueling it. Immediately, I was overwhelmed with the smell of her. It coated my throat like a thick, dark chocolate choking me. Over that was him an unpleasant package on my doorstep. He was holding her in his arms, a small smile playing on his lips. Don't shoot. Logan? I didn't realize I had spoken until it was too late to comprehend. I'm gonna make you love me. Anger pulled the gun's trigger. <laughs> Jealousy caused my mouth to sputter out remorse and hate. What have I done? Now we can be together. I don't love you. Her eyes were pleading. Tears were streaming down her creamy cheeks. I'm going to make you love me.